the Laguerre Primary School is being rebuilt, while both the Vidbutai Primary and the Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist are each receiving a new wing. Construction at the three sites commenced in June of 2021 under the Education Quality Improvement Project, equipped at a total cost of 24 million EC dollars through funding from the Government of St. Lucia and the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB. Kurt Charles, who is the resident engineer representing Danny and C Limited, project consultants for the three projects, says everything is going as planned and the contractors are expected to deliver on time. Our tour of the facilities under construction began at the Laguerre Primary School construction site, which is said to be 40% complete. I believe that we could uh, make the completion date of July of this year. Um, as you can see, uh, most of the frame of the building is up. Um, so um, by, by the end of the next period, we should at least have um, uh, well on the way with the roof construction of the building. Um, Methodist uh, is the more advanced of the three, but it's the smaller of the three. Um, this one is about um, 6,000 square foot. Um, right now the contractor, um, his, um, the entire structure is up. Um, he's working on the car park and the play area right now, external works. Um, and he's waiting on his finishings to um, start his tile work and his, and his painting. All three schools are expected to benefit from modern amenities and smart classrooms. Cyrus Sipal, who is the education officer for District 1, where the Laguerre Primary School is located, says this will ensure the sustainability of modern education at these institutions for generations to come. I am excitedly looking forward for the completion of this school, not just the physical structure, but all the other um, gadgets that will be um, added to it to make learning what we want it to be, which is something that the children will love, a place where they will feel safe. This is very important because as we, you know, we have always been saying, even though we have COVID, but in the safest place for the children would be at the school because that's where learning is taking place. So when it comes to our school, we were affected a lot with termites. And more recently, we had a lot of leakage. So with the construction of the school, we, realize that um, our school, our students, our teachers will be in a very conducive environment and we are looking forward to making sure that we use this school for the betterment of our students and not just the students but also the other members of the community. The Vidbutai Primary School and the Gordon and Walcott Methodist are also very happy with the ongoing construction at their institutions. The two schools will also benefit from perimeter fencing, improved vehicular parking conditions, improved site drainage, and improved septic facilities. The experience has not been a bad one at all. Actually, coming into it, I thought it would have been worse, but um, it has not affected us school-wise because with COVID, we have the three-day system, so that has helped us out in that sense. We only have kindergartners and grade sixes here every day for the week. Um, the only grade that would be really affected would be the kindergartners who are downstairs because they're the closest to the construction site and they're also the lowest to the ground. But so far they're bearing through it because we know what we want and we have been longing for this building for so long. So far we've been able to operate alongside the construction works with the very good cooperation between the contractors, the workers, and also the staff, students, and parents of our school. We've been able to keep constant communication to ensure that everything goes smoothly, and most importantly, that we are safe on the compound. The new Laguerre Primary School building will comprise a basement with open breezeway, a ground floor and a top floor which will house classrooms, a library, IT laboratory, music room and principal's office. The three-story Vidbutai block will house classrooms with accompanying male and female washroom facilities, while the ground floor will serve as an open breezeway with male and female bathroom facilities. At the Gordon and Walcott, the works there consists of a two-level reinforced concrete structure which will house classrooms, staff room and washroom facilities, while the ground floor will consist of one classroom, music room, theater arts and French rooms, and a sick bay. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.